did you start in Miami this morning? You drove from this morning? Yes, sir. Scale of one to ten, I give it a seventeen. Seventeen out of ten. <laughs> Five o'clock, no sleep, not, not feeling too great. 22 Chevy 1500, nine inch lift, 26s, 14 wides. Let's get this fucking bread, baby. Let's go to Miami. We haven't had a busy week like this in a long time. We've got two to three different nine inch kits going on this week. One, at least one FTS and at least two McGoys. One of those is coming from Miami and I have to drive the truck back to Miami this week. Will said he didn't want to be in the video. <laughs> so we're going to start the video off. I did this in the last video too, so I'm going to make it two separate videos. So Ty just came from Alabama. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you guys go check out the most recent video. Ty just drove from Alabama and we built his truck. It's still sitting back there. But Will, Will, did you start in Miami this morning? You drove from this morning? Yes, sir. So Will drove all the way from Miami. Ty did this for me yesterday and uh -huh. I went and watched the clip and I could tell how he was holding it. I like to keep people involved in the video. Will said he didn't want to be on camera, so he's still going to be a part of it, right? Will drove all the way from Miami this morning. Miami's one of my favorite places in the world. Shout out to Manny and Poppy's Garage and PJ and all my extended family from Miami. And we've got some other customers from down there. Will brought a truck for us to build today. Follow me, follow me. I know you've seen the truck a hundred times, but <laughs> the people on the channel have not seen the truck. So we're gonna show you guys the beautiful Chevy that we're building for Will today. What year is the truck? 22. 22 Chevy 1500, all white. And this one's a little bit different. I thought we were doing a McGoy's kit on this and I was wrong. They with you? Oh, okay, I don't know what's going on over here. We're about to get hit by, by a ram over here. <laughs> what's different about this one, I'm super excited. I thought we were doing a McGoy's kit on this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited, believe it or not, to do an FTS on this one because we've got the white accent pieces to go on the kit. So I think this one is gonna look really good. You've got your all white with the color matched up front. We got your all black 2614 KG1s. We got the Furies going on it. And then we got the, the black and white accented lift kit. I think color wise, this might be better than the black and chrome that's in the shop right now. Ty, I'm sorry if you're watching this. The black and white is goaded. I love the black and white. Here's my question. I had this conversation with PJ the other day. Is it Stormtrooper or is it Panda? What do you... I started off with Stormtrooper. That's kind of what, I think the white and black has to be more Stormtrooper mm -hmm. than Panda. Let me know in the comments, is a white and black truck more Stormtrooper style or more Panda style? But I wanted to give Will the opportunity. We're gonna start in Atlanta. Start in the video in Atlanta and we're gonna end the video in front of Poppy's Garage, in front of the six by six with the after, or the already built, after built truck, right? I can't get my words together though. So <laughs> 2021, it was 22 you said. 22 Chevy 1500, nine inch lift, 26s, 14 wides. Let's get this fucking bread, baby. Let's go to Miami. You got me on the spot. Nobody ever wants to check mine out. Give you a little walk around, you know? And look, that's what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do. Just for you. This will be here for a while. Just for you. In the wheel. Cause I ain't cleaned them. Look how freaking, I ain't cleaned the wheels in a hot minute. Look, they wrote daddy in here somewhere. The guys at the shop love to mess. So my center caps obviously don't spin right. But Will's the first person to ask about my truck in a video in a long time. So if you guys don't know, the original bow tie, nine inch McGoys, all powder coated illusion red, 2414 KG1s. Obviously I'm a fan of the KG1s. I go back and forth about Nitto and Fury. I'm running the Nittos right now. I might swap over to Furies, but I appreciate Will just, you know, sh showing love to the truck one time right, in the video right. and asking to see the truck. Nobody ever shows love, you know? So, we, gotta, we gotta get this cross member in Yeah, yes sir, look, my cat, look, look. This guy's been watching some videos. He knows the deal. I still haven't put my polished accent pieces on the, the front bars, but I got the accent pieces on the control arms, the cross member, the rear traction bars. I don't know, it's the OG bow tie. You know, I just, it's iconic. I can't ever get rid of, rid of it, it's paid off. I'm a you fan of it, looks oh, good. Here. Oh, no, you gotta hear it too. That's, I keep forgetting that it's cam. I gotta fire, fire, fire it up. I forget a lot of times that it's cam. Oh, we're not gonna start? but it's when you start getting that real chop to it, so. I'm trying to take every opportunity that I get to film with Will before he goes back to Miami. And it's not too often that I get to show the wheels with the customer here. So his uh, his white, I'm gonna say Stormtrooper truck. You playing jazz over there? Anyway, 2614 Vortex is one of my favorite cuts, and I know I've said that in videos before, but we got them powder coated, all gloss black with the, uh, 
the metal caps to match. So this this will get some black spike lug nuts and some Furies, and I think that'll pair very well with the 9-inch FTS. All black with the white accent pieces. The only thing that I would change, I know I don't have them here, so I'm putting myself on the spot. I would have put white lug nuts on them. Personally, white spike lug nuts would have, which that's easy to change when you get back. You know what I mean? If I were gonna do that, I would love. You want to do those? Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. I'm just throwing my two cents in because I've done it before. I think it's going to look good regardless, though. So I just dropped Will off to catch his ride back to Miami. I'm driving back in the stock Stormtrooper bow tie. I feel like real deal Neil naming these trucks. We got the 2022 Stormtrooper edition. I'm just kidding. Neil, if you're watching this, I love you. It's cool to be able to drive the truck stock before I drive the truck 10 hours to Miami on a lift kit. And I, I want to really just kind of validate the fact that, yes, I've driven the truck beforehand stock. It's not big and lifted at the moment. I've driven it stock, and I can give you an honest review after it's on a 9-inch FTS, 2614s, and 37-inch Furies. The trucks don't ride bad. It doesn't change the power at all. In my opinion, it even rides better on a lift kit because you have a wider center of gravity. And I, you may be able to hear the exhaust a little bit in this clip. Maybe you can hear the exhaust just a little bit. I'm actually speeding right in front of the county jail henry county jail over here probably shouldn't do that but anyway dropped uh, we dropped will off he's on the way back to miami we got about four days to finish the truck more time than most of them we actually finished ty's truck in the last video in 24 hours this one will take us two or three days because we're doing a little bit more to the build but it's time to get started let's get this bread baby Ooh. all right i ain't mad at you we gotta put that on LED bow tie? Huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did notice the uh, Dade trucking back here. Shout out to my boys from Dade trucking. Hey. Bro. Will's getting the normal black FTS kit. It's kind of a white backing plate, which is gonna be pretty cool. I'm actually pretty excited about that. I'm not gonna lie. So everything that you see in the center here will be white. Kind of contrasts the color of the truck a little bit, you know? I'm excited. John! Bro, who's working right now? our backing plate that's going behind the cross member super cool doesn't look like much right now but this is our accent piece that goes behind the cross member cameras up front so Todd we had this conversation with Will y'all see this in the next video all white and black truck panda or stormtrooper Panda, 100%. His favorite animal is a panda. Favorite animal. So, and he, first thing he said when he walked up, hold on, I put John on the spot. First, I joke about this in the videos all the time. First thing he said when he walked up was what? John. They know John. They love John. I told you. Every morning when I come in, what do I tell you? All they want to do is see you in the video. They want to see John. And he thinks I'm lying. We love you. We love you, John.
plane's flying over. I'm not flying back to Miami until I have to be at the airport at five o'clock in the morning on Sunday. So I'm parking my truck at the parking lot in front of the airport where the shuttle picks up. And John's taking me back to the shop so I can leave my truck beforehand. So then I can have, I can just hop in my truck and go home afterwards. I want to tell you guys a quick story. We were fighting with a wasp nest that's sitting right up here all day and John got stung twice. And this is one of the, one of the wasps, wasps nests that we uh, broke down. You can see them, you can see them flying above me. One landed on the tip of my hat, scared, most scared I've been in a long time. But thank you to John for taking me to the airport. We a real pal drive, drive me an hour north to the airport and back to the shop. I'm not gonna get this opportunity again to show you guys the side-by-side -side comparison of a McGoy's and an FTS like this. It'd be nice if I had the key though. Chances of me getting this opportunity again are not gonna happen. I'm not gonna get a chance to do such a great final review of a truck before we head to Miami in the morning. Look at these schmucks over. What? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So we, we finished up Will's truck a couple days ago. I want to give you guys a final review before we drive it to Miami tomorrow. 2022 Chevy 1500 all color matched white and black. It is one of my favorite builds that we have done recently. I bet. And, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, having being able to drive it to Miami is also, also a plus. We've been going back and forth the whole time. Let me know in the comments. Are you guys leaning more towards Stormtrooper vibes or are you leaning more towards Panda vibes? I've been getting back and forth, so let me know in the comments. 2022 Chevy 1500, my favorite part of the build. Please follow me, sir. My favorite part of the build, 2614 KG1. Vortexes, sorry, my favorite part of the build because they've been in the showroom for a year to be honest with you. This has been a build we've been trying to finish for a long time. All black Vortex is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favorite cuts, especially in the polished. I think the cuts on the wheels when they're polished really just, just it looks really good in my opinion. 37, are we still 1350s or 1450s? What are we feeling? Jake likes Jake likes the 1350s. I like stretch gang a little bit. I like the 1450s. 37, 1450, 26 Furies. Fury comes with a total tire protection plan, which is absolutely phenomenal. So if you buy Furies, you get a protection plan through them. You don't even have to deal with your dealer. You just do it online. 26, 14s and 37s, we, we do have to do a lot of cutting on a nine inch lift, but the cutting always looks good. You take off the mud flap, do a little trimming in the back, a little trimming in the front, throw some door trim on it, ride into the sunset. The biggest difference in this kit and what we do normally is going to be the lift kit. All nine inch, all true nine inch. Oh, and I ain't been on the ground in a minute. All true nine inch FTS with the black, <laughs> sorry, with the white accent pieces. Are it's you weird zoomed shot, in on my bro. face? It's a what? weird shot. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> <laughs> You're laying, all I see is your face. <laughs> Uh, nine inch all black FTS kit with the white accent piece behind the logo. Something different, adds a little bit of color to the lift kit. I wish we would have done like a white spike lug nut to go with the uh, to go with the white accents on the truck and the lift kit. Oh gee! <laughs> you did good, son. Which phone is this? <laughs> oh no! Did I mess my phone up? What no, happened? You should get a case. I'm like PTSD now. Jeez. 9 inch FTS with the with the white accent pieces. The reason why I'm saying we should have done white spike lug nuts is because this is the per the first time I've ever been able to do the side by side all white and black. Because we've got Jesse's truck right next to us. Say hey Jesse. Hooray! Oh god. I'm gonna get John later for that one. You gotta put the little ah thing in there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the all white 2022 and we've got the all white 2020 Jesse's truck. When did we build yours? A couple years ago? A year ago? We did Jesse's truck like a year ago. Nine inch McGoy's, right? McGoy's has the gloss black with the billet accent pieces. 2614 hostile, so again, an all black wheel. But we did the white spike lug nuts. Little nice accent piece. Goes with the hostile forged on the lip. He's got the McGoy's kit. No, no, we didn't do traction bars on yours. So that's good. We didn't do traction bars on either one of them. But it's the perfect example to give you guys both black and white, both the same style build, one FTS, one McGoy, so you can see them side by side. McGoy's comes with the billet accent pieces. The only way, in my opinion, that you make the FTS aesthetically look similar is to do some kind of an accent piece, but it doesn't work in every case. So we've got the all white backing plate that they offer. You can do it any color. One of the cool things about FTS is they do offer different colors. You can get it powder coated, you can get it painted, or you know, what powder coated. You can get it powder coated from FTS. We've done red, have we done blue before? 
don't think we've ever done a blue one. We do a lot of red. I don't know why. Red, white, and black is really the main ones that we do. But either way, it looks really good. We did rock lights and wheel lights. So we've got the eight piece infinite. Did we do eight or more? Eight piece, 24 watt. Oh, we got the big boys, the big 24 watts. Infinite's got a great warranty, so we do infinite a lot. And then we did the quadro wheel lights in there. I know that Will's really gonna like that. Can't ride around Miami without a little bit of light on the truck here. Let me. A bit of light on there for you boys. A little rainbow action Hold on. You like the rainbows, huh? Whoa, come on now. That was speed this up. Yeah. That'll get you pulled over in a freaking heartbeat. <laughs> Did it do yours too? Turned it on. Did it? You just turned it on. Oh, I turned his on too. <laughs> just, uh, oh, wow. That'll get you pulled over in a heartbeat. Don't don't ride. So, uh, obviously, I'm leaving in the morning to drive this to Miami. So, you guys will get one of the most honest reviews. That's a 10-hour drive. You will get a very, very, very honest review of how the truck rides on the, uh, on the interstate, whether it shakes or not. I do want to throw in real quick, you did get the upper control arms with the white accent pieces. Well, what about you your uh, McGoy's kit over here if you're living in the dark? What do you mean? You hadn't said anything about the McGoy's kit on his truck. McGoy's beautiful. You guys know I'm, I love McGoy's. I wear my McGoy's shirt like every day up here. I'm sure you, I'm surprised you guys don't say anything in the comments. You guys, I don't need to say that I like McGoy's. You guys know I like McGoy's on this channel. McGoy's comes with the billet accent pieces. It just sits out of the box. It's a great lift kit. I'm just trying to, I don't want this to overpower Will's truck today. You know what I mean? Will is the star of the show today, okay? Jesse has had his time. I love his truck to death. Today is about Will. So, but this is just a great example of being able to see one side by side, both all white and black combos, one with the Magoyas, one with the FTS. And I get to drive it to Miami. Well, how does it get any better than that? You know what I mean? Did we do anything else to this truck that I'm missing? I know that he swapped out all the emblems. Steps. He's got amp steps. He's got a little amp steps when you're getting old. You got back problems. You know what I mean? I've been having back problems. He swapped out a lot of stuff on this truck though. He did the black tail lights in the back. All the he did the LED uh, Chevy emblem. He did do the LED. I don't even know how to turn that on. Does that come on with the truck? I don't know. Maybe the maybe there's, the running lights. There's a clip in the video of this working. I'm going to put this over so you guys can see it. Obviously, it's daytime, so we can't see it very well. But when I get to Miami, it'll be dark, so we can see all the lights on together when we get to Miami. But I appreciate Jesse for stopping by uh, randomly and giving me the opportunity to, to do the side-by-side. -side. Will, I love the truck. It looks beautiful. And I'll see you in Miami. Oh, it wasn't recording. Huh? It wasn't. <laughs>
Let's get this bread. All right, so we're officially at our first stop. It's 4.23, been on the road for about an hour, no, sorry, three and a half hours, been on the road. Just stopped at a Circle K a couple of minutes ago, and I don't think I've ever been to a more dysfunctional gas station that I've ever seen in my entire life. The bathrooms were just disgusting. There was 100 million people in there. None of the registered work. The ladies behind the counter acted like they had no idea what was going on. And then I go outside to pump gas. I'm like yelling over there. Go outside to pump gas and the pump doesn't work. And it just, so I went across the street. I'm at a marathon. I'm gonna finish uh, filling up the truck and then we're gonna get back on the road. It's estimating that I'll be in Miami at 9.30 right now, which ain't that bad. So I gotta get gas this time and probably stop one more time. So it'll end up being right around 10 o'clock, which ain't that bad for leaving at one o'clock, to be honest. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than that. But I'll update you guys in a little bit once we get about halfway there. Once we get to Orlando, I'll probably have to get gas again. All right, so here's the deal. One, I just saw a helicopter on the road, like landed on the road, which is super weird. I'll put a clip in here so you guys can see it. any way for me to hold my camera up on the dash so I'm gonna kind of use the camera sitting here as a way to prove to you guys how smooth the truck rides now obviously it's a mud tire it's a lifted truck with mud tires on it it's gonna have a little bit of shake a little bit of vibration to it that's just part of having a tr big truck on mud tires a couple of things that I wanted to touch on noise this is raw just uncut audio there's no music playing there's obviously a little bit of tire noise it's a mud tire any even your nittos or toyos are gonna have a little bit of noise to them one of the biggest things that we're always looking for when we build trucks like this is any kind of major shake. The Nittos and Toyos obviously aren't gonna have any shake. Fury's best tire for the big sizes, 24, 26, 28, 30. They do come with the total tire protection plan, which is amazing. 99% of the time, you're not gonna have any kind of shake and that's really kind of what you're feeling for. Biggest thing that people are gonna wonder is how much different from stock is it gonna feel? And in my opinion, it drives better lifted because you have a bigger, you have a, a wider center of gravity and just more weight kind of makes the truck handle a little bit better in my opinion. Now, I do believe that this being a 6.2 makes the weight and the power 10 times better. I think some of the smaller engines, um, I haven't had any complaints, but I, it would make sense that a 6.2 isn't gonna change the power of the truck. I mean, I could still be running 80 miles an hour. I'm running like 75 right now and I'm just cruising. I could hit the gas and still gain a lot of speed very quickly. So power is not messed up at all. Gas mileage is obviously gonna drop. Road noise isn't that bad. It's not shaking you out of the seat by no means. Obviously I have a, a non, you know, stabilization, a non self-stabilizing camera. So every little tiny bump in the road you're gonna see. So in the camera, if that's what you're seeing, you know, but for the most part, you can kind of see me moving a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, in my opinion, the truck drives great. 99% of the trucks that we lift like this, brand new truck, brand new lift kit, brand new wheels, tires, they're all going to ride great. So if you guys are at this part in the video and you're really wondering what the honest, you know, daily drivability of a truck like this is, it's really not bad. I mean, steering wheel not shaking at all based off the wheels and tires, right? Is it shaking a little bit because the truck on the road, the road is crap down here on the turnpike? Absolutely. But as far as the steering wheel shake, I can let it go when I'm cruising 80 miles an hour, 75 miles an hour down the road like nothing. You know what I mean? So it's always cool for me to be able to give you guys an honest review of how these trucks drive and how they just perform in a real world case. I mean, I'm just going down, going down 75, just cruising. No issue. I shouldn't admit to the fact that I've been scrolling TikTok the whole time and never had any issues. But I don't know what's gonna, if that doesn't tell you guys that you can drive this truck with a pinky, I don't know what will. So I've made stop number technically three for gas now. And I've only got, I got two hours to go. Honestly, the trip hadn't been that bad. What, not nowhere near as bad as I thought it was gonna be, to be 100% honest with you guys. But we got two hours. Let's go to Miami. nine to ten hours in the books baby i don't know if anybody's up here at the moment but will should be meeting me up here got the lights on for him yeah somebody's here the lights are on yeah there he is honest review of the truck what do you think 
on a scale of one to ten. Above expectations, meet expectations. What are we feeling? What are we feeling? You can be honest too. Scale of one to ten. I give it a 17. 17 out of 10, he <laughs> says. The humidity's killing my camera, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll take 17 out of 10. Manny's shop just doesn't have the best lighting and he's got stuff all inside the shop. One being Swock's new truck on the ground that you guys have to see and stay tuned to the end of the video. I wanted to bring the truck to a gas station so we could get a an honest, just last look at the truck under the light so Will could see it in the light and for the first time as well instead of just seeing it in the dark at, uh, at Manny's shop. I wanna say just in front of Will, I do this with everybody and we did it at the beginning of the video uh, I'm always grateful for the opportunity to do things like this you know the truck started in Miami Will drove it to Atlanta we built the truck and then I obviously bring it back to Miami and to be able to do things like this is is a surreal experience and just stuff that not a lot of people get to do in life and I'm just grateful for the opportunity and grateful for the relationships and friendships that we build along the way uh, the same exact thing uh, Jeff Barry I was down here in Miami a couple months ago and Jeff delivered the truck to me and I built took it back to Atlanta we built it and then he came and got it and brought it back his truck is at Mandy shop so you guys will see that in the video today as well he's getting a new uh, poppy's kit later on this year as well and uh, I don't know, I got Will here deliver, uh, picking up the truck and uh, I just kind of wanted to take this opportunity to let him see it one good time before I leave for, for you. Thank you for the opportunity. I know that uh, I'm gonna throw you in the video one time just I want you to be in the video. I appreciate Will for letting me do this and having the opportunity to do it and chase my dreams. And then obviously I get to build a dream truck. You know what I mean? So Will has been just one of the nicest guys in this process. And I'm just, I'm gonna say it once, I'm gonna say it a million times, I'm grateful. And uh, Will, I hope you enjoy the truck, brother. We got some right there, man. Be safe. We'll do. We're gonna get out of here. But, uh, you guys have fun, man. Be safe, all right. Part, bro. I'll see you, see you sir. It's safe for safe. So. Uh... Mission accomplished. Truck has been delivered. It's not the end of the video yet, though. I still got to make it back to Atlanta in the morning. I'm gonna let you guys know what's going on right now. One, I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek of Swax truck behind me. Two, it's only like 11 o'clock, and I don't have to be at the airport till five, so we might do something tonight. And Jeff Berry's supposed to show up in a minute, so we get Jeff in the video today. So, truck has been delivered to Will. Jeff Berry showing up. Swax truck. We might go out tonight. Got to make it to the airport at five o'clock to be back in Atlanta. Flight leaves at seven. Let's get this bread, baby. We're in Miami. Off he goes into the world. Bro, what are you doing? It's gonna fog me up, ain't it? Gosh. Yeah, it is. I love that humidity. Not used to the humidity, it's fogging me up. <laughs> Just because he came by, I want to show some love to Dirty Max Kev. Yes, sir. Always, always trying to show love to Kev anytime I see him. And he drove all the way over here just to see me, wait. There we go. Just to see me at, at, uh, at Poppy's shop while I was here. I'm here for like five hours, so love Kev. Y'all can follow him on Instagram. Did we really come to Miami if we don't drive downtown in the 6x6? Six six? All right, let's go. Whoa. I don't think I ever get used to this. all the way through till we go to the airport but behind me is Swax new 20 inch independent front suspension poppy's lift kit on 28s and 44 inch boggers 
and I just want to take a moment. I'm not going to do a full video. It'll just be a quick clip in this video for you guys. I'll show you guys that it is on the ground and it is real. It's not fake or anything. So we're going to come back in a couple weeks and hopefully do a full video of the truck when it's driving. But that's all you get for today. point I think we've made the executive decision to just stay up until I have to be at the airport at five o'clock and I wouldn't be doing the video justice if I didn't throw Jeff in the video one time one more time in Miami oh so, hey look my, we, my center cap spin too your center caps actually work now hey yeah you can't really see it but we built this one at the shop what three or four months ago yeah. three or four months ago but he's going to be getting a lift kit like swax in there so later on in the year this one will go to sema swax is going to sema there's another there's a couple other trucks that are here at the shop that i didn't show you guys today that are going to sema but if i didn't throw jeff in the video one time it would have been a waste of a trip you know what i mean so we'll be back he's got some cool coming on coming on this truck so stay tuned All right, five o'clock, no sleep. Flight didn't start boarding for another hour and a half, so I think I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> I think I've kind of earned that at this point, you know? Not, not, not feeling too great. It seems like as quickly as we drop the truck off with John, we are back from Atlanta to Miami, back to Atlanta. Another build, another happy customer back at the bow tie. I hope you guys enjoyed the content and I thank you guys for always letting me chase my dreams. I'm going home, I'm tired. Let's get this bread, baby. Get this bread, baby. That's what I'm talking about.